Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find hcf or gcd using euclidean algorithm so guys the euclidean algorithm is based on the fact that hcf of two numbers divides their difference as well so guys the meaning of hcf or the highest common factor is a number that is the multiple of the two given numbers so guys in this algorithm we divide the greater number by the smaller number and take the remainder and then next we will divide the smaller number again by this remainder and repeat this operation until the remainder is zero so this will help us in order to find the hcf or gcd using the optimal solution in the python program so guys for example if we want to find the hcf of 54 and 24 we first divide the number 54 by 24 which will give us the remainder as 6 the quotient in this case will be 2 and now we divide the 24 that is the smaller number by 6 that is the remainder that we have found and the remainder in this case will be 0 hence 6 is the required hcf over here so guys if we check this operation when x is equal to 54 and y is equal to 24 we first assign this y value to x value that is x is equal to 24 and then we divide 54 by 24 and we find the remainder which will be assigned to this y value so in this case y will become 6 over here the value 6 will be assigned to this value that is x and 24 will be divided by 6 and the remainder will be 0 in this case and that is why we have found the hcf which is present in the variable x so guys this is the euclidean algorithm and let us implement this using the python program in the vs code over here so guys first of all we take two numbers so let's say num1 it is equal to 54 and num2 it is equal to 24 in this case and then what we will do is simply we will have the print statement and we will say hcf of 2 numbers and then we will display the numbers curly braces and this curly braces is and then again the third curly braces and then over here these curly braces will be replaced by number one and number two and then the third one will be replaced by the hcf that we are going to find for these two numbers so after the double quotes we have dot followed by format and then we will have num1 comma num2 and then we will call the function that is compute hcf which we are going to define now so guys this compute hcf it will take two parameters which will be number one and number two in this case which will be assigned to the variables x and y in the compute hcf function so let me just copy this and what we will do is we will define this function over here so we use the def keyword followed by compute hcf and it is expecting two parameters that is num1 and num2 will be passed so over here we will take the two variables as x and y now guys what we have to do is simply we have to go through a loop in such a way that the y value is not zero so over here we will say while y in this case so when the y value is not equal to zero the control flow will go inside the while loop and then what we have to do is we have to assign the value of y to x and the value of x percent y to y over here so x comma y it is equal to the y value will be assigned to x first so we will provide y value over here and then followed by comma and then y will get a value of x percent y so over here this operation that is x percent y will help us in order to find the remainder so guys these operations that we just saw in our example over here x percent y will give us this remainder and that is what we are supposed to assign it to the y value so that is what we are doing x percent y will be assigned to y and then guys finally when the y value is 0 the hcf will be present in this variable that is x over here so after this while loop when the control flow comes out of the while loop when the y value is 0 the return statement should be we should return the value of x so this value of x will have the hcf value and that value will be printed over here instead of this compute hcf that is the third open and close curly braces over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so we are getting the error that is syntax error expected colon so guys over here we just forgot to provide a colon while defining the function over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code once again as we can see hcf of two numbers 54 and 24 is 6 over here and that is what we were expecting that the hcf of these two numbers is 6 over here so 6 multiplied by 9 gives us 54 and 6 multiplied by 4 gives us 24 now guys let us say we have two numbers as 48 and 24 over here so what will be the highest common factor so it should be 24 because 
24 exactly divides the number itself that is 24 and then 48 divided by 24 gives us the quotient 2 and the remainder is 0. So 24 should be the highest common factor. So let me just save this file now and try running this code once again. So as we can see HCF of two numbers 48 and 24 is 24. Now guys let us say we provide 100 and 200. So what will be the HCF in this case? Let me just save this file now and try running this code. So as we can see HCF of two numbers 100 and 200 it is 100 over here. That's because 100 divides the numbers itself that is 100 and 200 divided by 100 also gives us the remainder as 0. Now guys what if the number is 400 and 200 over here. So when we have number 1 as 400 and number 2 as 200 what will be the HCF comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer is correct or not so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that you get the answer of the HCF of these two numbers and you can comment the correct answer in the comment section below make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to find LCM using while loop so stay tuned.